Hello everybody, this is Analytical Survival and this is a second installment or update on my aquaponics garden. Since my last update, I have essentially plumbed the entire system. So here's the progress I've made recently and let's dive into it. Here's a general overview of the project with both the tank and the towers. I hung each row using a 2x4 and then I notched them into this ledger here and I'll later put some joist hangers for extra support. And here's how they all look together. Now I didn't want to crowd the space too much so I started stuck with three rows and four towers each for a total of 12 towers. The plumbing itself is coming from a three quarter inch PVC pipe above. It then descends into a half inch PVC pipe with a shutoff valve and each tower has the exact same configuration. It then makes a 90 degree turn down the row and at the row level I used black poly tubing. Now as each row drains it's collected at a U-shaped gutter at the bottom. I also cut sections of the same type of U-shaped gutter and placed them between the towers and this encloses the open parts and discourages algae growth. Now each rose gutter empties through these black drain fittings and into this adjoining 4 inch PVC drain pipe. It now makes its way to the sump tank. It goes down here, makes a left turn here, and then a right turn here, and finally a downturn into the sump tank itself. Now the sump tank is a mixing place of sorts, and adding to this mix will be the water from the tank itself. And that will be coming from this uptake unit that I made here. Now it's not finished yet, and I just positioned it into the tank just for now. It makes its way here, through the two inch bulkhead fitting, and down into the sump tank. The sump pump then takes the mixed water out this three quarter inch PVC pipe. And this is that same three quarter inch PVC pipe from another angle. Now part of the water is gonna go back to the fish tank via this line, and the rest continues upward, making a 90 degree turn here, and then here again, and finally back to the grow towers. Now the sump tank itself is made of a 55 gallon water barrel. The real hard part however was digging the darn hole. And as you can see the soil here is a very compact black clay. I had to literally peel the chunks of black clay off the shovel blade with each and every scoop. I then placed a layer of sand at the very bottom and then another layer of small pebbles to allow for proper drainage. And here's the final resting place of the tank. I then cut out an access door here and installed hinges. Now I built this deck around 10 years ago and it's still going very strong. But as you can see, I still had to install an electrical outlet for the sump pump. And here's a few shots of that. Okay, folks, that's it for now. I'm waiting on the consultant to come and check everything. And once I get the okay, I'm going to install the sump pump and fill the tank and cycle the water and then stock the tank with fingerlings. Simultaneously, I'm going to start installing the greenhouse plastic film around the perimeter. And lastly, I'll be installing the ventilation system. But that's for another day in another video. Thanks for watching, folks. And as always, this is Analytical Survival saying, stay safe, my brothers and sisters.